What's your favorite curse word? <laughs> I can't say it. It starts with an M and it ends with a. Uh. <laughs> Not ER. The Pharisees also with the Sadducees came, and tempting, desired him that he would show them a sign from heaven. He answered and said unto them, When it is evening, ye say, It will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning, It will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. O oh, ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky, but can ye not discern the signs of the times? When Jesus came into the coasts of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He saith unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. Um, I wasn't planning on being back, <clears throat> but I'm genuinely concerned because I thought y'all would fill the vacuum, the bigger creators. And instead, I see we're going right back down the line with the narrative drivers to get involved in Pfizer lawfare. That's already been sealed off. We already know with the box and the C40 architecture. That's international. That our Congress does not have the power to override. That you're not shutting anything off in that direction. So for us to waste time pretending that a bunch of us civilians are going to sue Pfizer, who's already legally insulated. We have to acknowledge what we have power over. That's our own body, right? Wrong. You people out there that have been lying to everyone, covering for the censor hunters, while simultaneously scaring everyone with aliens, Illuminati, and bull****, you all know better. Alex Jones, you know better. Greg Reese, you know better. Malfoy and Betty Boop definitely know better. And all of you lie about information, surveillance, and reconnaissance. And it's not without cause. Even Owen Benjamin said, "Those are that's millimeter wave. Yeah, what does it do, Caltech? Terahertz, what does it do? So, I do not believe that it's going to help anybody to keep playing stupid. You need to tell them, we took your body part away and we attached it to the cloud and we gave people a ton of jobs to log into your body. That's an artificial intelligence symposium away. Nobody needs to be sitting around anymore going, oh my God, I don't know what happened. They took away your electrical body part. They lied about it so that nobody knew that everyone was being digitally tethered to a phone app that would be handed to law enforcement, FBI, DHS, CIA, whoever. Then make it pay for play. With who? MS-13, drone gangs on the border. Any little for a six pack that'll code in LTE, BLE, Zigbee and Bluetooth. One more time. The role of the first artificial intelligence symposium is to make AI real and everyone can and should implement AI in everything they do. Uh, this is September 10th, 2020 transcript of this is on the channel. And this is your Joint Artificial Intelligence Commission talking about Project Maven, customers across the Department of Defense. Who are the customers? 
The companies that now with the Internet of Behaviors guaranteeing 40% of your cellular phage and phase state. <laughs> this is what I mean. We log in to your body and make changes. And we can't even talk about it, even though here on the channel, I've shown the jobs, the market share, the modeling conferences, where they go to learn how to do it, the college textbook, the freaking artificial intelligence symposium notes. We got frauds on the sub stack going, there's no internet of bodies. That's in a different video. I've already covered how to out that fraud and show with a patent with her name on it. She's full of And then when it comes to Karen Kingston, Hi, Karen. You need to tell them it's not a demon field. You need to take that back and be real clear. God made the body perfectly because you claim you're a Christian and be like, that's a human chunk of anatomy. It was on the National Institute of Health in 1910. We took it away. We gave it back in 2015. Done. Then you don't have to sit there and go, it's a demon field. It's a quantum field. It's a morphogenetic field. My body belongs to me, doesn't it? Isn't that what you all say? Oh, I know that it's my own body part. Nobody can get me and not, my head's too thick and you can't target me. If that were true, Boeing and Lockheed and Raytheon and Electronic War Command would be broke. And we would have never funded them because it wouldn't work. So then I call out accountability. Tell me how it works. Nope. Just whatever you do, don't go listen to the disabled previous network engineer because she'll tell you the biomedical telemetry of how all our works. But she'll also be honest with you. There is no law fair. She'll also be honest with you. <clears throat> data labeling services and data curation portals for purchase, login portals on the web. Oh, yeah. And then I just log right into your body. Uh, Omnet, O-M-N-E-T, W-Man, YouTube. You'll see it. You just click on a button, send an electrical signal. That's it. You can get a PhD in this type of W-Man stuff from the Purdue University four years ago on the YouTube but your Substack frauds, the ones that keep telling you you need to sue Pfizer because you got so much money laying around to do it. And, oh, I'm sure with cigarettes and opiates and everything else they've all gotten away with, all of a sudden we're all going to stand up and we're going to do what exactly? The network is your DNA. In order to turn the network off, you can take the 5G towers down. You can do whatever you want to pretend that you're going to make a difference by screwing around with their radio frequency networks that they've already moved away from with the National Science Foundation and NASA and all of them for 20 years. In network technology, when we get ready to upgrade, we keep both networks running. And then at some point, we start transitioning all the equipment on the new network. Uh, yeah, and we have done that. If we're not honest with our own friends and neighbors, well, then what the hell good are you? These are artificial intelligence notes. You can read them for yourself. All I have done is make a list of what you out there lie about in cybersecurity. In the same artificial intelligence notes, here's a drone and MQ-9 Reaper tethered to your bone. Piezoelectric, no joke, straight up. And instead of telling people, the human body is naturally electrical. Karen Kingston went out there and told you, no, nah, it's a demon field. Evil technology, biosensors, that's a bioweapon. Wrong, wrong, wrong. They harnessed a human body part, lied about it, worked it out with the global information grid, made a digital twin. So you can just log in. If you knew that's your body, that they're using to route the nano, to transmit data between bodies for themselves. Not nothing to do with you, just in general. But you're not mad. 
Oh, can you tell me nicely how they're going to kill you? How they've already been people? No, thanks. Project Salus. What did we learn? Since Dartmouth in 1954, the Salus platform is used by Northcom with upgrades out to other vendors. Yeah. And in 1972 on a cassette tape from Brindy Air Force Base, there's my mom and my dad talking with Marine Corps squad numbers and other things between themselves. Project Salus. I'm like, what, what is going on? Oh, cradle to grave with the DOD, with their project, or, or excuse me, with all their echelon and keyhole. Those are CubeSat. Nano satellite using biosensors looking right through your veins and arteries. <gasps> oh, it's just your body's natural electricity tethered to some little m getting paid to hit buttons for electronic war command. We can't tell them it's information, surveillance, and reconnaissance. Well, you better f make up your minds and do it soon. Because if you don't, everybody's heart explodes with the neutrino bombs, which are phase array in your town using the Doppler and the Obama d panel data bases put into place in 2009. Bitch, we're ready to go. And the DOE's Scorpius and Zeus apps with Marburg and Ebola. I said they already have them and they are ready to go. I showed the Reddit feed. I showed the software. I showed it all. What'd you do? Oh, you're too mad. Well, you're going to be pissed off when you're dead? I don't like your tone. Yeah, and I don't like the fact that you cannot, for your own self, like Hillbilly Hart made the comment in regards to me, you can't go read this transcript and see that what I wrote is literally word for word. Once you do, then you if I were you, I'd be like, man, this woman's pissed off. Yeah. Because there's no way out and you're, I have children and I don't understand why any of you that have children haven't gotten off your ass and been like, this is disgusting. Since 2013, mandated by our FDA and our own FCC, biosensors and you and me. Why? Because it's the new electronic wireless precision healthcare. For the Agenda 2030, that's already done. C40. Now, I don't want this. It's already done. What I'm pissed about is that my species is expected to play stupid right now. <clears throat> After five years, five years of pretending that Pfizer's not legally insulated, the box is from 2005, and that all of this wasn't just a tabletop plan. This is transhumanism. It even says it on the Wikipedia. And we're not allowed to talk about that either. We're not allowed to talk about college textbooks. We're not allowed to talk about cybersecurity. Now, as a person who worked a job with Cisco equipment, that's disgusting. There's no reason to act so damn dumb. None. So, you are not going to be suing Pfizer. It ain't going to happen. This is an international issue with a system that's been running for 60 plus years with electronic warfare. We have three tiers of cybersecurity on your body right now since 1995. Any of you out there that continue to lie about this, given the biosensors have already been installed inside of people at the industrial level since 1995, but 2005 commercially with Bluetooth, BLE, and Zigbee. So you go to... Body Area Network on the Wikipedia. You see that you are inside of a bunch of networks and those nano networks are inside of you. 20 years, nano.gov. Why can't Karen Kingston and the Substack people tell the truth? Why? Do not make excuses for these people to continue using, I'm a doctor, I'm a nurse. Well, you're dumb. By choice. That's called being ignorant. By choice. And there is a choice here. Uh, these are jobs. 
Drone operator, wireless sensor network, bioelectromagnetic algorithms supervised with machine learning, jobs. And you go out there and you tell people, oh, no, no, there's no jobs. There's no 6G. Oh, no. Excuse me. You're lying. Well, we can't all know it all. Then stop asking people to trust your medical knowledge that you're lying about. The body is electrical. Did your lunch come out of you the same way it went in? No. When you go to the hospital and they go to take your electricity of your heart measurements, do you try to sue the person with the pads if you've had a heart attack? No. And we all laugh and isn't it so funny? It is not funny to be by electronic weaponry. It is not funny that our government, our country, is who's mainly responsible for this worldwide. It is not funny to watch my own people, my civilization, my government, my country, be made a fool of consistently, all the time, every day, while everybody knows big money, nanotechnology, nano.gov, 20 years, OSA, optogenetic networks. And worst of all, I held a job. That, without ever saying black projects in my parents' history, I figured this out based on my job, a real job. And you couldn't even admit that online. So, you can bitch about my hair, my teeth, and my anger, but I got bad news for you. None of that is going to change the fact that I told the truth, and those of you out there are still lying. This has been around since 1995. The medical body area network for all your health apps and remote health care is right here. FCC, FDA mandated with the same BLE on 2450 megahertz. All your radio frequency black pilled shills know because if they get in the way, they can get arrested for routing data traffic on things like ambulances or police wrong with their little antennas. That's why I'm so disgusted, folks. The people that know about all this are the same ones lying all of you into complete blindness, telling you that, oh, we're going to get your guns. We don't need your guns. You can't even move. You don't bring a gun to a plasma weapon fight. Four different tiers of cybersecurity, technically. Tons of bioelectromagnetic algorithms, serial access radio, or excuse me, ser um, synthetic aperture radar. Uh, serial absorption rates. I mean, it's just, it's so incredibly out of control. And I, I just, I'm at the, uh, I've been at the end of my rope for a while, but I'll tell you, when I saw the things coming out of people's mouths while I've been gone, it's like I left and nobody except the synergists themselves and some other good creators stepped into the vacuum. They all went back to the same. <laughs> There's no internet of bodies.
There's no W ban. What are you talking about? We're doctors. We're going to save the day. More bullshit about, oh, no, they won't really have a CBDC. They'll never get away with that. This is 2012 with a little EEG headset and your Xbox controller for sensors, open systems, architecture. And they have optogenetic sensors, architecture. Now they don't need your radio frequency. You lied about biosensors. They are not a bioweapon. You lied about Red Rwanda. You lied about our bodies being attached to the clouds since 1995, bare minimum. None of this is going to help us dig our way out of this in the future. It's not going to go away. It ain't going to change. It ain't going back to 1995. So why lie? They're going to energy harvest piezoelectric and everything else directly out of the body. These things I'm holding up are hard to see in pictures. You can download this yourself. It's free on the channel. It's just a PDF. Energy harvesting out of the body, 2005. Building routing protocols to do it. And I got those in the same tech metric PDF. Here's a series of different computer networks that your body is on for the new graphene-based sensors and healthcare monitoring. There is no excuse with nano.gov for 20 years. No excuse for Karen Kingston or any of them to be telling you, oh, yeah, we'll turn off the towers. Doesn't work that way. You got to turn off their DNA. Optogenetics, biophotonics, intragalvanic human body communication. Let me prove it to you yet again. Same Synergy Tech Metric PDF. Human body communication, Karen. On your medical, industrial, and scientific bands. That's right. So telling people absolute garbage with patents that alleging the biosensors are a bioweapon, quantum dots scare them to death. They have no idea where the biomedical telemetry is. And all of you physicians that are out there and holding people back, like Dr. Robert Young, Celeste Salum, and even Dr. Anna to some degree, why are you holding them back? You all know about synthetic biology since 2008. Why not talk about it? Why sit there and pretend, well, I'm a doctor, but I don't know how to look through a microscope. It's insulting. Here we are. Watch the movie. No, thanks. Turn it off. Now what are you going to do? There's no off grid. You have a body part involved in all of this that you cannot feel. You're not allowed to talk about it. They tell you it's not real. It's for curly and photography and mood rings. Meanwhile, the epitome of information surveillance and reconnaissance is being able to manipulate that body part start to finish, down to your bone, in any way they want to, for their kill box. Now you're going to tell me that, oh, no, they would never do that. Where do you think the wireless sensor network, the effects of the coronavirus worldwide with radiation damage from hitting these buttons so many times for so many companies that the wireless sensor networks are overloading the body? Let me show you why. Because that particular report is after they get together at the Joint Artificial Intelligence Communication Pe or Commission people at the AI Symposium in 2020. And they're like, dude, it's on. I got a web portal login. Let's go. AI should be used by everybody. We are ready. Let's do it. Uh, yeah. And what happened next? We have mega fucking network.
networks logging into bodies that are now all graphinated and load balancing, talking to each other. What do we get? <clears throat> the effects of your worldwide misuse of the sensor networks. Duh. And why would that be? Because we're routing computer networking through human bodies as a matter of industry since 2005, since 1995. And instead of telling people that, you all said, it's a v How convenient. Why don't you go sue the box out of the sky? I want to see you try. This isn't hard. It's ugly. And the worst part of it all is that we can't even get those of you who know better to tell the truth. I don't want to be out here cussing and hair and na, na, na. People never shut up. But at least I'm real. Because I'll tell you, the ones that I, the people out there right now that I'm trying to reach, you know who you are. Don't give up. Don't give up. I will never surrender this. Uh, it's human anatomy and every human deserves free will, soul and body autonomy, a choice. When you lie to people on purpose about their own anatomy, you don't have an excuse. You don't. Japanese foot binding went on for like, I think a hundred years, might be wrong about that. Bad idea, we shouldn't be doing that. Throughout human history, this is when we figure it out, bad idea, shouldn't be doing that. Not with this. The Tartarians, that would be your Mongols who held the wireless previous to now. 500 years ago, Kelly and Dee screwing around with the Kabbalah and rewriting all God's language on the heart with terahertz metamaterials taking us back to the days of Anubis in Egypt where sperm comes from the spine and we don't need your head because we're already controlling everything in the back of your brain stem, which is all they really need. Hello? No. Nope. We want to be God's. Among all the, our other human friends, well, you've been doing that since the 50s, remoting into people for 30 grand from the FBI, and you handed it out to DHS and the worst possible people after September 11th. You pay people to sequence events. It's how you keep control and sell it off, access and control over little towns in the first place to make sure their son is the football king or whatever. And this has been going on now for so long, allegedly. Here comes Trump, and we disrupted Hillary, and we're not on the relay. I live next to some of that deer. So I guess while I was gone, we decided to just run with the uh, gambit protocol. We're all going to drive into there's hope. You know, my husband just mentioned, he goes, the reason they don't want anybody to know what is really happening is so that people don't panic. I think people need to start standing up for themselves and you need to be pissed off. You need to finally get right with God for real and be like, wait a minute. So I'm not allowed to talk about my human body part, the biofield, because information surveillance and reconnaissance, that's police, EMS, firefighters, doctors, and nurses. They got that body part wrapped up, controlling way more than your mind. Give you cancer, take it away. 15 minutes. Where is everyone? How many of you out there have gone through chemo and been, oh my God, with your loved one? If cancer, take it away, 15 minutes, 1995. Why do we still have any problems with diabetes? If we've been doing this since 1995, why is it that everyone's still with Alzheimer's and the rest of it? Because we're not using it for your health, and yet that's what they're telling you. Duh! Don't give up. People that I'm addressing this to, break through. It's a body part. My fruit is better than gold, yea, than fine gold, and my revenue than choice silver. I lead in the way of righteousness in the midst of the paths of judgment, that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance, and I will fill their treasures. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way, before his works of old. I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning, or ever the earth was. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no fountains abounding with water. Before the mountains were settled, before the hills was I brought forth. While as yet he had not made the earth, nor the fields, nor the highest part of the dust of the world. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he set a compass upon the face of the depth, when he established the clouds above, when he strengthened the fountains of the deep, when he gave to the sea his decree that the water should not pass his commandment, when he appointed the foundations of the earth, then I was by him as one brought up with him, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him.
rejoicing in the habitable part of his earth, and my delights were with the sons of men. Now therefore hearken unto me, O ye children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. Hear instruction, and be wise, and refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my doors. For whoso findeth me, findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death.